Let us understand how to enable or configure log and query reduction using Cloudera Manager. When it comes to enterprises, we have to deal with personally identifiable information such as credit card numbers, passport numbers, social security numbers, etc. And we have to handle this with utmost care. We should not let data to leak from the organization in any way. When it comes to actual data that is stored in HDFS, it is the responsibility of application to deal with it. However, when we actually run queries against the data, we have to ensure that this confidential information is not logged into the log files. Let's see an example here. Here I am connecting to the gateway node of the cluster. And I am launching Hive. If you run show tables, there are two tables. One is uh, order count based status and the other one is testing. We can describe testing here to understand what all fields are there. There's only one field I and it is of type integer. Now let's say there is a, a social security number field in this. At this time there is no such field but let's say there is a field called SSN and uh, we want to compare with a particular value. So typically we write queries like this, self star from testing where SSN equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So whenever we run these high queries, the queries will be logged into the log file. And these log files will be stored anywhere so that people actually can troubleshoot the issues. It, initially, they might be stored only on the local machine. However, to understand different types of issues that are happening on the cluster, we might have to port this information into some data stores such as Splunk, uh, elastic search etc wherein we can actually identify a patterns and come up with the solutions for all the problems which we typically face in the applications or clusters uh, that are used in the organization now if we run this query even though it failed if we come out of this we can go to temp itversity and then we can open hive.log here. And then we can actually go back for the queries. And you will see the query here in plain text format. And you can see that number is visible here. So as this number is visible here, if we actually capture this log into some Splunk or uh, any other log mining tool, the information will be exposed to the outside world also. And it is uh, bad from the compliance perspective, especially when it comes to uh, financial uh, organizations. For that reason, we have to ensure that the data is not logged into the log files as is, especially when it comes to the data that is categorized as personally identifiable information. And one of the solution which Cloudera provides us is to redact the log and query data so that the information is not logged into the log files as is. To achieve this, we have to enable something called uh, log and query redaction on the cluster. And then we have to define rules. Let's see how it can be done. In this case, I am getting into the Cloudera manager. Once we are in Cloudera Manager, we can click on HDFS. We have to go to Configuration. Search for Redaction. We have to enable Login Query Redaction. And then it actually provide some standard rules. We can actually add those rules by clicking on this plus. The standard rules are on credit card numbers, social security numbers, and email addresses. We can also define custom rules. So in this case, let's uh, go with social security number. You can actually have a pre-check trigger um, in the form of a string here. And then you can actually give the regular expression like this, even if you want to create a custom rule. This is the regular expression for social security number, which is in the form of three digits hyphen, two digits hyphen, four digits. If there is a string in this format, we want to replace with all these access. So we are assuming that 
only social security numbers will be in this format even if there are other strings in this format they are also will be redacted like this once you place this string you can actually uh, uh, test the reduction rule by clicking on this test reduction you can see the output here you can change uh, some values from here let's say i want to transform it to like this xxx hyphen yy hyphen z z z z or z z z z and if we say test reduction we can see the re redacted string here if the string doesn't follow this pattern for example if the social security number is uh, stored like this without any hyphens then the rule will not be applied and you will see the value as is now we can save changes after validating and then we have to restart the hdfs service when hdfs is restarted everything on the cluster will be restarted and hence it will take some time to complete the restart process before restarting the stale services you can review all the changes that are made with this uh, one simple configuration change on the cluster to enable log and query reduction you can click on respect to services here and you should be able to see the details okay now we should be able to restart the stale services if you are interested you can spend some time in going through all the properties that are changed for all the services and then you can actually go ahead and restart uh, hdfs which will restart all the services on our cluster as we are trying to restart everything on the cluster it will take some time you have to wait until the restart is done right now it is still stopping the services once the stop services is executed then it will actually start services and it will take some time to start all the services now all the services are started we can click on finish let's refresh this to ensure that everything is green and as the configuration of log and query reduction are done we can validate by running some high queries from the command prompt so in this case i am actually logging into the gateway node launching hive once again and running the same query which we have ran earlier which is nothing but select star from testing where ssn equal to 1234567891 and we can hit enter the query will fail because uh, there is no field such as ssn in testing we can come out of this and then we can open temp itversity hive.log and then we can actually go back in the logs to ensure that the string is uh, transcend to a pre configured string instead of displaying the actual social security number here this is how you can actually validate once you enable log and query reduction using either high queries uh, from command prompt or high queries from hue or whatever uh, uh, tool you are comfortable with even when you run map reduce jobs on the cluster or spark jobs on the cluster if uh, log and uh, query reduction is enabled if there is a string which actually matches this format with all the digits and hyphens then those will be re redacted like this